Hi ladies, this is Amber Mellon and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. And today's video is a continuation on a series I've been doing, um, things you should know before becoming your own boss, before becoming an entrepreneur. And so mainly in my previous two videos, um, if you haven't watched those two videos, I would definitely recommend going and watching them in order and then come back to this video. But mainly the things that I talked about um, in the previous videos are the type of mindset that you should have, um, you know, while you're getting into entrepreneurship, if you're thinking about it, or before you get into it, you know, there's some key things, some important things that you want to think about. So we are, we are just going to dive right in. And um, I got some notes written down. The first thing that I want to tell you of things that you should know um, about entrepreneurship is learning how to self manage yourself. Um, this is an ongoing process. I feel like no one can ever really get this down pat, but there are some things that you can do um, just to help you get better at it. And so I'm still working on this myself. Um, Self-management, pl planning out your day, planning out your day the night before, planning out your week, you know, writing things down, tracking your progress, setting goals. These are things that I definitely need to work on. And it is one of the things I'm going to work on starting now and into the new year. And hopefully I can share my progress with you guys and let you and letting you know how you know i've been doing with self-managing myself um you know keeping my commitment being accountable uh self-managing my time uh you know time that you interact with people because i'm telling you our time can be used on you know trivial things and we can just let time get away from us and not even realize it so yeah that is a big thing is self-managing your time waking up early enough to get things done in the day going to bed at a decent time planning out your clothes the night before girl i'm telling you this is very 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 important um if you're going to be an entrepreneur the second thing that's really important is energy omg you need lots of energy to be an entrepreneur um it's a lot of hard work it seems like there's always something to do you're always improving yourself there's always something you could be do you know getting your whatever you do your work um in front of people whether that be on social media whether that be marketing networking going to different mixers and functions or you know walking around passing out cards flyers telling people what you do engaging on social media it never stops and that's why whenever I can afford to hire an assistant I am definitely not obliged to delegating authority because I just know that um, you know I can't do it all you know and eventually I would like to hire an assistant you know that way I can you know take some time doing other things and my assistant can do things that you know social media that's that's another full-time job okay so yeah energy being healthy um eating right drinking lots of water um i don't know if you guys checked out my previous video about my weight loss goals and what i want to do my journey starting losing weight but i'm telling you if you're a little overweight or if you feel sluggish or if you feel tired i'm telling you being healthy um you know setting aside time to walk or jog or run for 20 to 30 minutes a day um you know be mindful of what you're putting in your body you know trying to stay away from sugar and bread you know things that deplete your energy and make you heavy and sluggish because you need energy um you know in order to be an entrepreneur and you know not just energy about you know like getting on camera or getting on social media or getting from somebody and giving and giving them energy but you just also need that energy to be light on your feet to do tasks to do errands to do everything you need to do in a day and not be like oh my gosh i did that one task and i'm just so tired so energy is super important another thing that i want to talk about about entrepreneurship is accountability being accountable to yourself, being accountable to your clients is so, so important. You know, sticking to a schedule that you put out your put, sticking to a schedule that you have put yourself on, uh, sticking to a routine. I am still trying to figure out what routine I need to have for myself. Getting on a routine is so important, is so important for success because 
uh, getting on a routine is not about talent. It's about progress. It's about action. It's about getting things done. And that is so important with entrepreneurship. It's not just, it's one thing to dream and have goals and write them down and things that you want to do and vision boards, but it's a whole nother thing to actually try to accomplish them. So being accountable, not just writing goals down and setting goals, but actually, you know, see what you see what it is you're going to do to actually reach those goals, whether it be gaining new clients, whether it be losing weight, uh, whether it be, um, you know, adding something or taking away something, um, you know, because as an entrepreneur, you're going to have to manage your household. You're going to have to manage your finances. You're going to have to manage your business finances. Yeah, girl, it's a lot of work, it, you know, especially if you're in a salon suite because it's almost like a one man show and it's hard to be a one man show, you know. So these things I'm constantly working on for myself. Everything that I'm sharing with you is are already things that I've had to ask myself and tell myself, you know, this is what I need to do. OK, so the next thing I want to talk about is bookkeeping. Bookkeeping is so important when you're an entrepreneur tracking your progress tracking your growth, tracking your sales, you know, you don't know where you need to go to and what you need to work on if you're not going back and tracking your progress because you don't want to, you know, stay in one place and you don't want to plateau. You want to continue to grow. So it's so important to track your expenses, track your growth, track your clients, whatever it is that your business um, needs, you know, you definitely want to track those things, how much money is going in, how much money is coming out. Those things are so important. The next uh, thing I want to talk about is um, emotional emotional uh, being an entrepreneur is uh, an emotional roller coaster it's a financial roller coaster some days you're up some days you're down some weeks you're busy you're booming you're doing really good and some weeks are slow so that's one of the things um, you know that's really important to think about when you get on this journey is you know managing your emotions managing how you feel uh, managing uh, this roller coaster of entrepreneurship because it's a journey you know there's no um, one set path to get there and yeah it's 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 a lot of work and that's why in the previous videos I talked about you know surrounding yourself by positive mentors surrounding yourself by positive people um, you know continue to get poured into because you're going to have those days those tough days or those tough weeks where you have to manage your emotion emotions you can't give up and you have to keep pressing on the next thing i want to talk about is always assessing yourself always assess where you're at and where you want to go is what you're doing now getting to where you want to go um, are you seeing progress with what you're doing now and is that gonna is that work ethic gonna get you to where you need to do this is all the boring stuff you know that's not exciting you know a lot of times we get excited about goals and being a boss and working for yourself and creating the life you want to live but in order to do this you have to do these things too as well and assessing where you are and where you want to go is so important always come back and see what's working what's not working always uh, keep a fresh eye uh, outlook on things that you're doing you know definitely try to um, say the same thing in different ways you just just want to always be open-minded you want to always try to be creative you want to always make sure you're doing your best to get to where you need to do okay another thing I want to talk about with entrepreneurship is endurance endurance is so important you have to have stamina and endurance for this journey because it's hard and so as you continue to stay with this to stick with this as you you're, you're gonna build your tolerance level you're gonna build your endurance for bad days for um, you know situations problems that might incur uh, relationships with uh, co-workers or peers um, you're gonna get endurance to um, interact and resolve conflict I'm telling you there will be conflict some days there will be people that you know are gonna try to engage with you in a negative way and you're gonna be like you know why do I have to go through this so all this stuff 
is important endurance you know and just know that things take time businesses take time you know i always say that nothing happens overnight um, and eventually the money will come if you're doing what you're supposed to do if you're working hard because we all know that we have to have faith but with that faith we have to put works with our faith so you know we have to take certain steps and actions to get to where we need to go so it's very important to put your uh, faith with your work to work hard to be consistent consistency is key it doesn't matter how talented you talented you are it doesn't matter how good you are how beautiful of a person you are how great you are if if you're not consistent if no one knows what you do if you're not putting what you do in front of people you're not going to get any results how do i know this because i've been there before you know i have all this talent i have all this potential and you know i'm not where i want to be i'm nowhere you know i'm stuck because i'm not taking those actions, I'm not stepping out there, you know, I wasn't getting uh, uncomfortable, you know, to get to where I needed to be. So that is very, very, very important is, um, you know, to make sure you're always putting what you do in front of people, to let people see what you do, um, you know, because if you're a hairstylist and you have a salon, um, if you're a, sal a business owner and you have a salon suite, I just want to let you know that it's not just about hair, it's not just about doing hair great. When you're a business owner and you own a salon, I would say hair is like a small percentage of it. It's important, it's important to be skilled so your clients will come back. But what's more important is how you manage your business, uh, how you interact with your clients, how you engage with them, how you treat them, how you greet them, um, you know, how is the experience from beginning to end, you know, do you make them comfortable, you know, are you nice, you know, so all those things are important when you are a business owner and especially if you have a salon suite girl, I'm sorry to tell you, but business ownership is more than hair, it's so much more than hair, it's a lot of hard work um and then just keep this in mind you know that the statistics of business um you know if you ladies go up and google uh statistics on business you know the negative downside is that most businesses fail within a year to uh two i forgot what the statistics was uh yeah but most businesses fail within the first year um, and then if you pass that first year, a lot of times for businesses, it takes at least three to five years to start seeing the money that you want to see. So, no, definitely keep that in mind. Uh, never give up. Never quit. Um, just keep being consistent. Keep being productive. Uh, continue learning, you know, growing. Uh, educate yourself. Invest in yourself with books, with, you know, audio downloads things that you can listen to inspiration i'm telling you all those things are a part of your growth they're watering your mind uh, and in retrospect you will become a better person so i hope i'm not leaving out i also did some research about the diamond process and a lot of the diamond process uh, has a lot of parallels to, you know, being an entrepreneur. So um, I know a lot of people talk about that. If you ladies would like for me to create a video of the diamond process and how that relates to you, please let me know. And another thing that I want to tell you is don't worry about if you are picked over, if you're looked over, or, you know, people are not reaching out to you or picking you in the beginning because there's a lot of things that you got to learn in the beginning and sometimes it's good for people to not see you yet or the light might not be shed on you yet because you know you're growing you're learning you're making mistakes you're perfecting your craft you're perfecting your skill so just appreciate appreciate that time when no one really knows you and maybe you feel like you're getting looked over or picked over or you're not the first choice or you know you're not getting the opportunities you want and you're seeing other people get them just know that eventually they will come and in that time when you're hidden when you're under the ground when you're starting from zero just uh continue to work hard learn all there is to know because there will be a time when all eyes will be on you and trust me there will there will be major scrutiny 
uh, many opinions about what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong and that's a whole nother level in itself because you have to be mentally prepared to be confident in yourself to know that whatever you put out there whatever you're producing is you know for your audience for people who support you and not anyone else you have to be secure in yourself to stand you know next to the person you know who might have a little more than you or is a little further than you and you gotta be um, you know, confident and content whether you have six dollars in the bank or whether you got six figures in the bank, okay? It's all a process and you want to be that same beautiful person that you were in the beginning of your journey when you got six dollars and all the way towards the end of your journey when you're making six figures. So um, that's my time ladies. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. Please feel free to leave comments, questions, or concerns. If you're not following me on Instagram, come say hi on Instagram. I'm super nice. Um, I respond to all comments and yeah, I will catch you ladies in the next video. Bye!